Hey YouTube, this is RoadDoc326 coming at you with another Star Wars The Legacy Collection review. This time, as you can see, right there, we're doing the 327th Star Core Clone Trooper. Go to his bio, which says the Clone Troopers and the 327th Star Core are led by Clone Commander Bly and serve with Jedi General Ayla, however you pronounce that, Ayla Secura on several planets in the Outer Rim territories. This elite core is distinguished by the yellow markings on their armor. Uh, this is a droid factory product that comes with the right leg of an MBRA7, which we'll go over in a little bit. And there are some other toys in the line. Pretty exciting. I got this guy in a two for one pack that's at Walmart, who came with the Han Solo review that you've already seen. There's some artwork of him. Uh, enough with the box. Get onto the figure who just fell over. There he is. Uh, clone trooper of the 327th Star Corps. Not specific. Uh, some things to note. This piece, which is made of a soft plastic, does come off. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I'll tell you how. You pop off his head, which is extremely loose. And just lift it off. That's how you get it off. I'm not going to show you because it will make his head even more loose. Some other things to note. I like the level of detail on him. Like his back got these little designs. He's got the back to tank. He's got all these things on his belt. Looks good. Does have the yellow markings everywhere. Makes him a little unique. This little thing back here is a soft plastic. Not cloth, but no big deal. Go on to articulation. He's got a 360 on the head almost restricted by this thing but it's not uh, one of his arms does spin 360 the other one does not because of this but it does have the potential to if you take this off so goes out in 360 swivel at the uh, elbow very hard to spin around elbows do move forward not back. 360 on the hand. 360 on the waist. His legs move forward but not back because of the soft plastic. 360 swivel at the knee. Knees do move back. 360 spin on the ankle for the foot and then it goes down too. Also, he does have pegs on the bottom. They don't come with stands but you can buy them on. Uh, I'd recommend entertainmentearth.com has stuff on like a bunch of those pegged stands for I don't know how much but you can get a bunch of them for probably pretty cheap so seen the articulation let's see his accessories and as everyone knows no clone or stormtrooper for that matter is the same without his helmet it does have yellow markings it is a soft plastic you can squeeze it but it's not gonna like rip or break or reform on you does fit on very well. Doesn't fall off if you turn them upside down and shake them. It's on very well. Uh, one thing I don't like too much about it, but I suppose it's no big deal. And it's probably because of this, but you can see his chin right underneath it. It looks kind of stupid, but not a big deal. I still like it. Uh, he also comes with, jeez, oh two of these pistols. Here's one. Here's the other. I strongly dislike these. Look how thin they make the handle. It is almost non-existent, and therefore, one, it, geez, it doesn't fit in his hand for the life of him. just falls right out because it's a super thin handle. Don't like it. But what can you do? Uh, the only use of these things is putting them in these little holsters and making them look a little more intimidating. Like, yeah, I got these two guns here. I'm not going to use them because... They basically don't have handles, but I've got them, so don't mess with me. And he does look cool with them. I'm not mad, but I'm not happy either. But they make up for it by giving him two other rifles. We'll go over my favorite one. It's this little blaster. It's pretty neat. Fits well in both hands, particularly his left. This is his right. And then it fits even better in his left. He's even got the trigger finger on his left hand. Pretty cool. So, it's all of that. 
he came with this rifle, which you can clearly see what's wrong with it. It's too thin and of soft plastic, so it bent downwards. I imagine you can fix it. I fixed soft plastic before. What you do is you boil water, uh, dip it in for like 30 seconds, take it out, reform it, put it in cold water, let it cool, and it'll be remolded back the way you want it to. Don't worry about it melting. It's not going to. It just softens up a lot, and then you can just refold it, cool it, fix it. But other than that, I'll, I'll get around to it eventually, but it does fit well in his hands. Right hand, left hand. I like it because it's so big, I guess that's what she said. But that is the reason. It's pretty neat. So that's all his accessories. Here is the Droid Factory MBRA7. Oh, this isn't even his left leg. Aw, oh, dang it. I got the wrong piece. If you'll excuse me for one second. Oh dang it, where do I put it? Okay, okay, okay. I am so sorry about that. I found it. Whew, right here, I grabbed the piece that came with Han Solo. I'm really sorry about that. But this is his leg. It does have articulation at the knee. A uh, little disappointed it doesn't have articulation at the foot. But it is a droid factory. It pegs in right there. So I don't expect too much of it, but I do like it still. But anyway, this is Road Doc 326. I'll see y'all later.